This session is about the Lighthouse project for reducing leaks in water distribution networks with a solution based on the artificial intelligence. Let me introduce you to our panelists. Today I have Johannes Koch with us in studio, the head of global accountment in the water and waste wastewater industry at Siemens AG. We have Holger Hans, the expert for project development for digitalization in water and wastewater industry at Siemens AG. And let's welcome Peter Wellin, the account manager for vertical sales at Siemens Sweden. But before we get to the project, a general question. There is another term that always come up in this context, the non-revenue water. What meaning has non-revenue water to the water industry and which relation exists between non-revenue water and leaks specifically? Well, there are certainly a lot of challenges to the water industry uh, nowadays. Uh, just to name a few, the aging workforce or the security of supply, for example. And non-revenue water is um, certainly affecting a lot of, if not most of those challenges. So what is non-revenue water? So basically and simply said, non-revenue water is having produced some water um, which has not reached the customer yet. And this is for several reasons. And one of the reasons is leakage. So leakage is not just a small problem occurring to um, very rural sites, for example, or developing areas. It's even with large major capital cities, a big problem. For example, we have that in London, where it is assumed that around 30% of the network is affected by leakage. So this is a big problem, as you can imagine. Um, and for that, and this is exactly why we have created, uh, based on artificial intelligence, the Siemens Industrial Water Application Suite. So this is to tap the challenges where the customers feel the pain. And so basically, um, the Siva League Plus is so to say in our starting lineup. Yeah. So the Siva League Plus is a uh, um, concept that is all about to uh, detect leakages within inner city water distribution networks. And this is all based on artificial intelligence. Okay, thank you, Johannes. But actually, this is not just a concept, but has been applied in a project in Sweden. So, Peter, <laughs> You were one of the guys in charge locally in Sweden. So what was it all about? Yeah, <clears throat> it, this has been a really interesting project with, uh, okay, it's a uh, engaged people, uh, both on the customer side and the product management. Uh, everyone has been flexible and solution minded. I would say that Siva Leak Plus is a fantastic product that uh, really delivers what is aimed to. This customer, Via Syd, is a customer in the very south of Sweden. It's uh, next, located next to Copenhagen, Denmark, less than 20 kilometers away. The question is really, why is this done here in Sweden? In Sweden, we have a lot of lakes, a lot of uh, water. We have all over 100,000 lakes that are bigger than 200 square meters. And this is good fresh water. And in Sweden, we have in average 20% leakage of uh, water. And at Via Syd, they have half of this, 10%. But it's still a big problem. <clears throat> and uh, they are comparing to Copenhagen, who have 8%. And every, every percent is still very big volumes of water. And uh, mm -hmm. this uh, water is uh, produced and uh, that's cause a lot of energy uh, that is needed to produce it. And uh, if you save the water, you save energy, save the environment and you uh, reduce the carbon footprint. And not, uh, not at least, you um, reduce the inconvenience for the uh, subscribers. But Peter, and how did it come to this um, 
solution of Siemens. Uh, what were the main goals of the customer to choose the solution? They yeah, said they were uh, very serious here. They uh, scouted the, uh, the whole world for uh, software to uh, to find the right uh, uh, solution to find the leaks, and uh, they 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 chose uh, Siemens and uh, Siva Leak Plus. Um, it have been uh, and they are. I would say they are very happy so far. They have uh, they have uh, implemented in a, in a small area uh, called Lebrod. It's about uh, seven thousand people, and um, here they have um, been able to find leakages down to five oh five liters per second, and they will in, in future they will come down to below zero point two when they have more data. So. It's uh, really great. Yeah, that sounds very interesting. So um, very uh, good results in achieving the shortage of leakages indeed. But um, my question would be, Holger, now to you as an expert. Um, so how does the tech work in detail? Uh, can you provide some more insights on this solution? Yeah, sure, Maria. So at first, so Siva Leak Plus is an application for permanent, continuously, 24-7, full automatic monitoring for such water distribution systems. Permanent, continuously, this is till, till up to, till to date, it's not usual in such networks. In most of the networks, they do uh, leakage monitoring. Uh, in a manual mode, they go out with sound sticks, uh, maybe once a year, maybe every two years, and this is what uh, uh, and this is what the benefit what's the benefit for the customer. So we have an early leak detection. So that means we do a permanent monitoring. We can find leakages within one or two days, and this is the the big plus, the big benefit for customers. So Siva Leak Plus is a 100% cloud application but we can also deliver an on-premise solution. So generally, uh, such water distributed networks are subdivided in so-called DMAs, district metering areas. These subdivisions allows to monitor such networks with a minimum of sensors. You can't install at each uh, pipe uh, this kind of sensors, flow sensors, and so on. And in combination with artificial intelligence, this is what the customer helps a lot. So how it works. So flow sensors at the entry and at the outlet points of such a DMA are sending their data directly to the Siva Leak Plus application. That means normally we are doing this, we are doing this wireless and maybe we have battery driven um, instruments or flow meters. That means you don't need to have uh, um, cabling works and so on. Yeah. Um, that means you can send, you can install the sensors, and then you uh, um, you, achieve, you establish the connectivity to the cloud, and that's it for the customer. So the the, the data communication between such sensors could be done via the most of the actual protocols, IoT protocols like MQQT, Sigfox, FTP, LoRaWAN, and so on. Yeah, that means. Siva Leak Plus provides also a very high level of connectivity. Yeah? That means we can use different kinds of sensors. It has to be um, Siemens sensors. Also installed existing sensors can be used for the system. Yeah? Now the data are and arrives at our application. So what, what shall we do with that data? Yeah? So in this case, Siva Leak Plus is available in three versions. We have a so-called light version, a standard version, and an advanced version. The light version is able to detect anomalies sensor by sensor without comparing what's going to the next, what happens on the next sensor, what's going on in the network. The standard version provides the exact DMA, district metering area, where the anomaly happened. And with the advanced version, we are able to identify the leak location within an accuracy of 50 to 300 meter. And this leak localization with this kind of accuracy, this 
saves a lot of money if you are going for pinpointing leakages so that you can start excavation on roads, crossings, and so on. Yeah? And very important, Leak Plus is scalable in both dimensions. That means you can start with a light version and a handful of sensors. You can upgrade the sensor, the version from, from standard to, light, to advanced and so on. You can enhance the number in, uh, of sensors, whatever you want. That means you can start maybe in one DMA with, uh, with a small investment, but then you can go upwards and upwards and forward and forward. Yeah? That means you, it's not necessary to cover the complete network from the beginning. You can develop your monitoring system over your network uh, as per your um, requirements. So, and then we are looking for such uh, what the sensors are delivering. Yeah, so we can find these anomalies in such an, in in such networks. But an anomaly in such a network can have several reasons. It hasn't to be a leakage. Um, and this and there the the artificial uh, the artificial intelligence came into the into the game. Yeah. In our standard and advanced version, we are able to differentiate between up to 16 different kinds of anomalies like sensor or asset failures, flow, pressure drops, water quality problems, for sure, bursts, leakages, and so on. Yeah? And this is also a big plus of Siva Leak Plus uh, to do that, yeah? to be able to do that, this differentiation between the different events, anomalies, and so on. Yeah? After analyzing of uh, the, the data, but not only the actual data. So we are analyzing time series, yeah, um, because Siva Leak Plus is storing the data for two years. As an output, Siva Leak Plus provides alarms, notification, charts, maps, KPIs, and dashboards to the customer, which also can be sent out to other systems like a SCADA system. So as a short uh, conclusion, I can state, Leak Plus helps the customer to detect and localize leakages um, and also other anomalies in his network in shortest time with high precision up to localization of the leakage. And this is what saves money and supports the customer in his decision about the, his next activities. Yeah? That means it gives you also the information for economical um, decision making in the, in the network. So if you are interested in more details of Siva Leak Plus, please feel free to ask in the Q&A session or make an appointment for our live demo, which I can offer to you. Great, Holger, thank you very much for this technical insight. It was very interesting, such a smart, intelligent tool, artificial intelligence. Well, it sounds like overwhelming at the first sight, but you told that you can start small. So you can start with a small one DMA, so this area, and just yep. then go step by step extending it. All right, Peter, um, can the customer now already see any results and well, how long have, has this project been running already? It, it has been running about for a half a year now. And uh, yes, they can see results. They have made uh, uh, artificial in, uh, leakages. They have opened uh, some small valves and they have been able to see small leakages down to 0.5 liter per second. But uh, I'm sure when they have more data and uh, they have uh, the system have... Uh, work for a while, I'm sure that they will find leakages down to 0.2 liter per second, maybe even lower. Um, so it's a great potential out there, definitely. Um, and they started uh, small, as uh, Holger said here, and uh, Simon and Victor at, uh, at uh, Via Syd have an approach that I really like. They have started at small, as, as we said, but they also have, have the, the saying, make mistake and then scale up. And that is exactly what they're doing now. They have started with this small city, uh, Weberöd, with 7,000 people. They can now see it works. And uh, now is the plan to scale up to the um, second biggest city in the, this region, Lund. It's uh, 110,000 inhabitants about. And... Uh, I think it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it would be a success there as well. Yeah, it's great. So this is very um, 
nice to hear that uh, two guys, uh, Simon and Victor, young guys at Vezut, uh, was just trying. They just were not afraid to make any mistakes. They started small and now extended it to a larger scale and already see the first result. And as far as I know, oh, 0.5 or 0.2 liters a second. This is really a great success already. And um, um, my question would be now, how, how did it work, this collaboration? Because it's it's um, a pilot project. This is a lighthouse project. How does uh, this work between Siemens and the customer work, especially in terms of, of the special demand of the customer to have their on-premise solution? Right. This is a demand that, that the, the whole water uh, industry in Sweden more or less have. Uh, so it was more or less a go, no go decision from our side. Either we, uh, we changed or, uh, our solution to on-premise solution and, uh, or we couldn't uh, deliver it or they, didn't, uh, or they couldn't use it. Uh, I think it had been uh, really working really fine this uh, this uh, collaboration with uh, the product management with the customer at least that they are uh, having very helpful with input uh, support what we can exchange uh, improvements and uh, also flexibility um, but and uh, now we are uh, we're here it, it works it really does well, that means that uh, we can offer both. So originally, this is actually a cloud solution, which we nevertheless um, um, developed as our on-premise solution. And uh, nevertheless, Holga, I would uh, like to ask you as a technical expert in these terms um, concerning their um, these uh, restraints or challenges of using the cloud solution. Yeah, so if you are looking on, on the cloud solution, maybe we should have a first look on the benefits of such a cloud solution. So the cloud for, for solution, um, with that, the customer don't need additional hardware, no additional software installation. And so in a consequence, no so hardware, no software maintenance services and so on. No uploads, no hot fixes. All that stuff, which is uh, sometimes um, yeah, painful for customers uh, to maintain such systems, this will be done automatically in the background. So as a customer, you won't recognize that something happens with the software, that it's updated now, that uh, fixes are installed and, and so on. The only thing customer needs is a web browser and access to the Siva League plus project. That's all. Customer don't need a separate contract with the cloud prov provider. All this is uh, regulated by or included in Siva League Plus. And regarding safety and security, sure, that's always a point of discussion. Siva League Plus as cloud application is following the highest level of IT security standards. So actually Siva League Plus is running on the AWS, that means Amazon Web Services in Frankfurt in Germany. And now coming to, to the on-premise. So we are providing uh, on-premise in two variants. First variant, League Plus will be installed on a separate hardware system at customer side. Or second variant, League Plus will be installed on customer's virtual environment. That means customer is uh, responsible by himself for maintaining this system. Yeah? And we need, um, we need a, a remote access point so that we can update the software to keep it um, uh, updated. Yeah? So, um, but as a consequence, the on-premise version, the basic investment will be higher. Yeah? And, as, and you have follow-up costs by taking care for the hardware uh, service and maintenance. Um, if a customer decides to go for an on-premise solution because of regulation, law, order, philosophy, it's okay for us, not a problem. On the other hand, many people are arguing because of IT security risks. My answer to this would be a question, what would be easier to, to defend a cloud environment with a know-how, power, strange experience of Amazon Web Services or my own IT environment? Yeah? 
So this is the question. And this is the question everybody has to answer by himself. Thank you, Holger, for this insights, uh, especially in terms of the benefits of the cloud solution. So we still see some customers reluctant of using cloud solutions in general, but if we can see the important topic of IT security is already included in this solution. So you can only see the positive sides of that. But com coming back to Peter, to our Swedish customer, uh, what is the um, general feedback from the customer now, to sum it up, um, in terms of savings and benefits? I, I would say that the customer in general, they are very, very satisfied with the, with the whole product. Uh, they can see that they are saving flow meters that they have to uh, mount into the, to the uh, system. Um, now they have this uh, virtual DMAs, and uh, yeah, then you don't need so many uh, flow meters. And uh, the flow meters cost a lot of money to install. But in the long run, of course, they are will save a lot of money when they are going out and pinpointing uh, where are the leakages, uh, which uh, leakage uh, should they uh, pr prioritize, uh, and this will uh, save a lot of energy lot of uh, uh, hassle for the consumers and um, it will it will be good good for everyone I would say and save money is uh, yeah, of course a, a key figure in it but uh, the environment is fantastic as well yes and also in perspective of the future topic of sustainability I think this is very crucial um, topic and mm -hmm. this Great feedback from the customer. These great results. This is impressing, I think. Uh, am I right, Johannes? What should I say? Absolutely. It's exciting to get such a great uh, customer feedback. And I'm really thrilled to have that even more. That is exactly representing the Siemens vertical approach. What does that mean? Basically, we have more than just the customer in our center and of heart and core of our portfolio, but also, of course, the whole branch the segment as water is. And that's also why we and why we come up with the solutions, tailored solutions for our customers to address the challenges exactly where they origin. So basically, what how do we do that? And what's our key levers? So the key levers here, definitely we are building on are two points. First of all, the digitalization and then the standardization. So meaning that we are trying to build from a standard to the digital world and thinking big. And this means that the, we are talking about water ontologies. And I don't want to get anybody feared here. It's just talking of ontologies means we are starting small, developing things, and getting big together with our customers in the special branch. And what I really love in this case is that this Siva League Plus case is exactly showcasing all of it. 